You're listening to The Voice of IWA Flip here on Interfed Radio. And today we're back with Living Nightmares, After Hours, in-house Commissioner Scott Anderson. Scott, you there? I'm here. How you doing? Oh, man, a lot a, a lot going on throughout the IWA. But uh, like I said, I, I'm eager to get into this one because, uh, like I said, I've, I finally made my move here. And, uh, yeah, a lot to talk about. So <laughs> Yeah, no doubt. Good stuff. Oh, Big cycle for us, yes. Oh man! Now uh, we got one more cycle till the end of our uh, uh, end of the year. Uh, but before we get into our our, uh, our standings, I, I kind of want to go over the league champions. So let let me go ahead and bring this up real quick, Scott. And uh, yeah, sure. Let's see here. Let me go ahead and slaughter some names again. <laughs> you now, can't be any worse than <laughs> me? That's for sure. Now this is uh, Living Nightmare League number forty-five, our December cycle. Uh, Nightmare champ Jason Voorhees thirteen. Oh man, congrats! Yeah, I've, I've seen him on the title page, so to see him up on top is is beautiful. Uh, Paranormal champ uh, that I won Amarillo. Uh, Amityville champion Patient X. Crystal Lake champion Patient Y. Uh, Elm Street champion Pennywise the Clown. Uh, from the Battle Royal, uh, the Black Lagoon champion, Dragon Verde. Our Camp Arawak uh, champion, Dragon Rojo. Uh, Transylvania champion, Sinister Bagul. Uh, Haunted Hill champion, uh, from the Battle Royal also, uh, Michael Myers. Uh, Sleepy Hollow champion, Norman Bates. Nice! <laughs> oh, watch out. Watch out here. Salem Lost uh, champion, uh, from the Battle Royal also, uh, Dragon Negro. And uh, also from the Battle Royal, the Crypt uh, Champion, Dr. Frankenstein. Nice. Congrats. Yes. yes. Ah, Just made that, it. That, that dollar, huh? <laughs> that dollar gets you. That dollar. Spend that dollar. Shout out to the <laughs> GML. Apocalypse uh, Tag Team Champion, uh, back, to, uh, back to back? Uh, yeah, back to back. Dang. Yep. Dragon Kudos. Amarillo and Dragon Verde. Kudos, dragons. Yeah. Uh, Doomsday Tag Team Champions, ah, the combo, Michael Myers and Jason Voorhees. Uh, Slaughterhouse uh, Six-Man Champions, ah, doing it, doing it, Michael Myers, Jason Voorhees, and Leatherface. You know what? That would be one crazy six-man right there. (laughs) Holy shit. You got got that right, yeah. Uh, Nightmare TV Champion, the Dragones, nice, congrats, guys. Uh, like I said, uh. One of one of the main reasons I'm coming here is, is is for those dragons, those dragons and those patients. Both of you guys, watch out, cause nice. Oh man. Now, uh, we did mention uh, at end of the year, uh, so we are getting close uh, to you know crowning our uh, singles. And uh, what what are, what else are we tracking there, Scott? Uh, well, uh, so uh, at the end of last year, at the end of 2017. Uh, I di- I only did uh, wrestler of the year, tag team of the year, six six man of the year. Uh, I will do those again. Those would be based off uh, the points in the ranking system uh, that I have in my report. I'm also planning to do um, some just kind of additional awards. Uh, I would like to highlight maybe what I consider the feud of the year, maybe the trash talk of the year, um, perhaps even the match of the year. Um, you know, so I'm going to throw in some additional awards this year, uh, kind of highlight some of the work that uh, some of our, our awesome managers have been putting in. Maybe like, you know, new character of the year, um, you know, somebody who joined in 2018, uh, kind of highlight that. In the year. After uh, holidays, our last cycle of the year. Yeah. Oh, man, it's getting, it's getting close now. Uh, it looks like Dr. Frankenstein has uh, ran away with it. I mean, uh, uh, unless one of the patients wins uh, World or wins uh, uh, wins something big. And yeah. If, it... Go ahead. Oh, yeah. No, I was going to say it, it looks like it's pretty much uh, in the books. It's pretty wrapped up, it looks like. Yeah. I mean, crazier things have happened, and it is the L&L, but um, it, would, it would be hard for him to, to fall out of that top spot at this this point oh yeah now now the tag team one uh any shot no these these are all pretty much uh 
as I'm looking through them. These look like they're they, they, they got a big jump early, huh? Uh, yeah, yes and no. I feel I yeah I feel like uh Y and Z, patient Y and Z uh have kind of held on. Uh, they haven't done as much in like say the last. Definitely uh, hit it up early, but I I still think um, you know Michael and Jason uh, recaptured uh, the Terror Tag titles at the pay per view. That's the only result I'm going to give away. Oops. Um, and then uh, they won you know they won the uh, the Doomsday TV title. So they're going to get some points this cycle. Uh, if they had um, if they happened to win you know an IWA wide, they could they could sneak in the sneak into the top spot there uh but it it would be you know again it would be kind of a a big cycle at the to end the year but you so. know what michael michael and jason you know what i'm rooting for you come get him come get him. Right. Yeah. <laughs> oh man now uh moving down here uh scott are, are we gonna get into our uh our, our trash talk or, or or where are we going to next uh the pay-per-view sure. um we we could do either one there won't was something I wanted to talk about, and I, I, I should have asked you before. We were kind of talking about uh, the, there are a lot of uh, new wrestlers this cycle, and I kind of wanted to go over some. Uh, okay, so um, I kind of wanted to go over some of the new wrestlers uh, just for the managers out there who may be wondering what's going on. Um, we had a lot of very long term inactive wrestlers. Uh, so I took over the LNL at cycle 19. Uh, which was, you know, a good while ago now, about a year and a half. And uh, in that time, there have been uh, a lot of, I would say, a roughly 40 uh, long-term inactive wrestlers. And so I finally kind of asked the IWA, can we, can we wipe, you know, can we swipe these guys out? And can I create some new scrubs? You know, like get some more scrubs in, uh, you know, so that our managers that are there have, you know, a plentiful amount of scrubs to wrestle, uh, and face and get some wins on. Uh, so I do want to highlight just some, I, I don't want to have to, you know, we don't have to go over all of them. Uh, but I did put in some of my favorite, uh, universal monster actors. You may notice, uh, Lon <laughs> Chaney Jr. Boris Karloff, uh, Bella Lugosi are in there. Um, I did, uh, so, uh, you know, sidebar, I have, uh, the RWL website created was Old Man Gore, just as kind of a like an homage or a joke, you know, referencing, you know, the fact that I have the Gore sisters. I um, love it. I love it. A little I, RW, a little RWL. Uh... Just a little, you know, a little, a little inside joke. Uh, um, and then I have Dr. Heinz Doofenshmirtz from uh, uh, Phineas and Ferb. Um, I did uh, running upstairs woman and and trip and slip man because you know in horror movies there's always you know there's always some woman running upstairs there's always some guy who's like tripping and falling when no one ever trips and falls that much uh so just kind of uh what was there was one more that was i, I, I think my oh. favorite has to be the 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 cowardly werewolf the cowardly werewolf the cowardly... <laughs> like, i don't want to mm. yeah um and so uh but moose thing okay so a little story of about uh my my life okay uh i was driving home late one night uh with my uh my then spouse and uh, honest to goodness we saw and i know it sounds crazy but we saw this like weird thing cross the road up ahead of us right and it had these really long skinny legs this you know like regular size body and both of us saw it and it was, it was like, it was, it was not a deer, right? Like we knew what a deer in the dark looks like. We know what a dog in the dark looks like, but it did not look like either one of these things. And so we dubbed it moose thing. And so I put, <laughs> so I put moose thing in there because it was like legit, probably the only time I feel like, like maybe I saw something that I couldn't really explain because it, like, I, I saw it, whatever it was, whatever, it. whatever, whatever moose thing was, I saw it and she saw it and we were both creeped out because it did not look like any creature 
that you have ever seen in anything. And all we saw was like its shadow, right? And I'm like, mm, okay. <laughs> we, we're good. We're good. We're good. Yeah, we're good. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, so just you know, kind of just trying to have some fun uh, with with some new scrubs. So feel free to you know beat them up and and take them out and take out the sacrificial hero. You know, have fun. Good go, times. Go get them. Yeah, just just be careful. Be be careful. Uh, be careful with that sneaky patient zero. Yeah, I I am interested. Yes. Okay. So I <laughs> would love to know what is going on with patient zero. It is a mystery that has, that is not explained. And if you're out there, I want to know, I want to know what the deal with patient zero is. I got to know. Oh man. The first, the first patient maybe, huh? The first maybe. one. Maybe. Oh. No, I would like to know. <laughs> I'm interested. I am intrigued. Now, now, honestly, I mean, uh, I mean, Getting uh, getting into the commissioner side uh, and, yeah. and you know, uh, I mean that's something other commissioners. If you've taken over a league, you know it's something that you know is inevitable. I mean, if you reach out to Kim, uh, don't feel bad. Uh, Kim does reach out to the managers who are, you know, if they still are uh, active, you know, th- they'll be notified that those you know wrestlers have been uh, asked to move or, you know, so so don't feel bad for doing it in your league if if you have to. Right. Well, and I only eliminate, I mean, we're talking 25 cycles. If your wrestler has been in active 25 cycles, I'm not expecting you to come back. And right. we, we need to kind of, you know, clear out the the old to bring in the new. So, and, yeah, definitely and, not, and now, not, you know. Now, now Scott, I mean, I, I and, and like I mean, we say this on the show often enough. I mean, I mean, everybody plays their own way. Now, some right. some commissioners actually, you know, you know, because you know the, the those characters sometimes have some tricky stats, right? Right. You know, so, I mean, I don't want somebody who's been an active twenty five cycles winning our league title by some fluke, right? Because because it does happen that a, a manager will right. challenge one of those fighters, they end up on the regional, then they end up you know automatically getting that title shot. So it, it has happened in other leagues. So just you know, right. It's just as a commissioner, just be careful, and it's something that you know you want to wean out eventually, and uh, it, it will help your league uh, clean up and go forward in a in a right direction. Right. right. Well, and and you know uh, something that we had kind of talked about before is you know with the Living Nightmare League, you have you know certain characters, you know uh, Michael Myers, Jason Voorhees, Leatherface, you know those are all very prominent characters right now, and they're awesome, uh, and. We, some of those long-term inactive wrestlers were, you know, famous monsters that made. Oh yeah. You know, wrestlers. Now those monsters are available. So, you know, if you check. Yeah, we, 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 we had mentioned. Oh, I noticed met- that, you know, so-and-so isn't in there. Right. And we had mentioned that the last time. Remember where, uh, you know, you don't want to, if, if you want to have, you know, new managers come in you know, if they see that that name is taken, you know, it might discourage them. So that it, it's a good way of, you know, e- like you said, just cleaning house and uh, allowing for more growth. Right. Exactly. Now, speaking of growth, um, you know, I, I've been talking, uh, you know, character development and, you know, kind of, you know, getting back to a slower burn and, a, you know, building up on an angle and, you know, I decided to, you know, make my way here, and I, I wanted to kind of have a little bit of an intro to where this character, you know, kind of stems from. And uh, yeah, Robocat is just, you know, it, it, it's a, it's in, uh, you know, I, I had mentioned it before. I, I'm doing it to, you know, kind of, you know, help out a friend who's, you know, going through a lot. And I, like I said, I, I came here, and you know, our goal is to, you know, win, uh, win some gold, and you know, g- you know, get those world title shots as quickly as possible. So. If you get in our way, watch out. <laughs> no doubt, no doubt. Sounds good. Oh man. Now, now, now what did you think, man? I mean, because it, it it was uh, you know, it, it was uh, of, kind of uh, in your face. <laughs> it's kind of of, in your of, face. of of Robocat. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I mean, not for nothing. I'm not gonna say it on air, but there is a word splashed very big 
uh, in the middle of that screen, and I was like, you can tell the L and L is eighteen and over. Just, um, just, but, just on that alone. Just on that alone. <laughs> the the curses. Uh, so I'm gonna check on that. Uh, for those of you, you know, out there who might be wondering, uh, I am gonna check on on uh, what cursing is available. Uh, but certainly, I do feel like the IWA has been very generous in uh, the storylines that the LNL has been able to do. Uh, so it's it's pretty shocking. Uh, this you know this cat in the biotech lab, and what what this cat does and how he feels about himself. He 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 he. But let's 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 uh, let's change it up. He kind of. Uh... He's a chicken. He's a chicken. He's a chicken. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you chicken. can say it if you want. Oh yeah. No, yeah. I'm good. Like I said, uh, he, he definitely he definitely uh, wants to take a t- take a step uh, in the direction of uh, of Frankenstein and kind of you know you know get get some balls. <laughs> he wants to get his balls. Uh. Yeah. <laughs> Which is interesting <laughs> that you would say that because that's not that's kind of the uh, the yin to the yang of the word that's on there, right? <laughs> You know, <laughs> oh, shoot. Yeah. Oh. but I mean, I'm, I, I'm excited. I'm excited for, uh, what, what we will see from RoboCat. So, oh man, good times there. Now, uh, now the, the story of the year, uh, the dragones, oh, yeah. Mr. Mr. Boswell and the patients, you know, and, and the monsters on the other side. Right. Yeah. What uh, what, what's escalating? What uh, what can we expect this last uh, this last cycle of the year from the from that cast? Um, like coming up or reviewing what what happened in December? Well, no, re- definitely reviewing in uh, what, what happened this last cycle with them. Okay. Uh, well, mostly what we saw. Well, what we saw previously, f- prior to December, is. Um, kind of some, it seems like shady things happening with Reverend Boswell, and he makes an offer to buy uh, the L and L. Meanwhile, the the dragons um, seem to be finding a lot of their funds missing, uh, the money that they had earned. Um, so they had a meeting with. Uh, we see that they are going to have a meeting with uh, Commissioner Pratt. That mean and. Uh, this cycle, uh, in December, I should say, um, we mostly see from the drag for their matches uh, against uh, Catfish Rob and shout out Catfish, you're awesome. Uh, Catfish Rob and Fox Woman Santana. Uh, one of the drag patient Z for the uh, underworld championship kind of the the main uh title in the lnl so we will see the results of all of those pay-per-view matches uh in the holiday report nice nice now uh bagul yeah looks like l- looks like him it l- looks like him and Voorhees uh are are, are, are are uh on a collision course yes i would i would uh you you know since we're on interface at radio and we're trying to make connections with you know iwa at large i would i would uh compare the sinister uh bagul and jason Voorhees feud in that build up to the uh to the hijacks and uh anthony hodges feud that built up in the gnl right nice i mean nice. it really has gotten like to me at least you know as as a person in the lnl and as commissioner it has like gotten bigger and bigger and more high stakes and kind of just it's it's culmination is you know it's probably the match that i felt like had the biggest build up going into the pay-per-view so uh i'm pretty excited uh to have the results for that match now now similar to that uh hijacks and uh uh, uh prince platinum uh matchup over there in the gnl uh, this one here, uh, both of these guys, you know, I mean, I see Voorhees on the, you know, he's the champion. So, I mean, these guys right. both are just well-renowned, you know, in the league as well. Right. Yeah. Well, and and so Jason has, has been pretty consistent all year. And Sinister 
Mr. Bagu came in roughly maybe about halfway through the year, maybe a little before, maybe a little after. Uh, but he's been on the title page three or four or five times over that half a year. So, you know, not not anybody to mess with. Pretty tough customer himself. Now, now, what what can you tell me about? Uh, and I know you had mentioned him, you know, previous. Uh, Fritz the Owl. Yeah. Uh, well, so so Fritz the Owl started as I almost think you know, and I don't, I haven't spoken with uh with this manager, but Fritz kind of started as it seemed like kind of just something lighthearted uh, to review uh, Jason and Michael. Uh, Jason Voorhees and Michael Myers, but he still does that, but it's kind of like developed into its own thing. Uh, so I'm a fan of Fritz the Owl. I think Fritz the Owl is awesome. Uh, he kind of had this uh, like budding rivalry with uh, the Pale Man for a, a few cycles, but then they kind of, you know, made made, made peace with, with, you know, both, both reporting on, on certain things. Um, but I, I look forward, I think Fritz has a funny, interesting uh, take on the events uh, surrounding Jason and Michael and now Leatherface. So <laughs> I love it. Yeah, when I when I saw it, I'm like, oh, man, this is th- this is the side of the IWA that I enjoy. I mean, I, I, I remember uh, I remember back when I was doing the AWL for a while, I got on this kick of uh, of like personifying you know, whether it was a piece of gum or whether it was like, you know, the, the chair in the room or, you know, just something stupid, brother. So I would write the whole trash talk as like, you know, a parking lot brawl match and I'm the gum, you know, reviewing the, the, the match. You know, I get stepped on all the time. And I, I, I yeah, I just, you know, just something, you know, just an awkward way of, you know, seeing things, you know. Right. Well, in Fritz the Night Owl, to the best of my knowledge, he is not. Not an owl. He he is he is someone who is up late. Ah, gotcha. Okay, okay. You know, so Fritz is is a reporter who is it's, stuff happens in the middle of the night. So you know, Fritz the night owl is a reporter who's working third shift. And, you know? and since and since we're in the living nightmare, league, you know what I thought? I thought it was literally like the owl, you know, on, on the tree, you know, like just kind of like you know, just personifying the owl, thinking you know. <laughs> Oh, jeez, man. Oh. When Jason's hacking people up at night, yeah. Okay. Yeah, just the owl just watching like, oh, my God, this is horrible. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Now, we got a new character. Wolfman Joe. Yeah. So it seems like Wolfman Joe is going to team up with uh, Fox Woman Santana is what I is what I gathered. So, yeah, no, yeah, like, like I'm telling you, uh, you know, Catfish is making that run for that tag in that six man world. So you know, we're, we're going to give it that. Uh, and, and now that he has backup, so a, a lot's going to change in uh, in 2019 because, uh, yeah, that, that that his fraction is just going to get bigger and bigger. His fraction is just gonna, nice. Get Catfish recruited. And uh, yeah. So what, what, what do they say? The. The, the the woodworks are, the, yeah there's a lot of a lot of freaks coming out of the woodwork so watch out watch out sounds good that's I mean that's what that's what we have in the LNL right the the freaks and fiends so the freaks, I love it, I love you know, it. Like, <sighs> come on in have fun oh man yeah now he looks like uh looks like they're targeting uh the red dragon right dragon rojo right uh well uh, there are a couple of uh of dr- dragons that they're they're preparing uh to face or were preparing to face at head in the box the pay-per-view took place uh in the december cycle so uh, uh catfish rob was was going against uh dragon rojo and uh fox woman santana was going against uh dragon verde did i get yeah. close yeah 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 buddy all right yeah. uh so you know so uh those two matches were last man standing and and a chain match, respectively. So we'll have to see uh, how that worked out for Catfish and Fox Woman and the Dragons. Nice, nice. Oh, man. Now, um, Morbius. Yeah, another new character. Hitting it hot out of the out of the gate. Yeah, now, um, you know, it, it, it's... Uh, 
with all the killing and slashing that goes on in the Living Nightmare League, uh, I think the shocker was uh, the fact that he, uh, you know, he, he felt bad about killing. Yeah, yeah. It, it, he seems pretty distressed here at the end because he doesn't want to. He 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 says no killing right after he he kills this poor young man who came to welcome him. <laughs> What's that name? Oh yeah, that's a, I mean, not not for nothing. That's a pretty undesirable job. <laughs> oh yeah, I would, whoever's uh, whoever's uh, HR, you know, hiring for that position must be tough. <laughs> be triple hazard pay, you know, to be the welcoming party in the L and L. Oh man, but the but the man was up to it. He was he was uh, he was a go getter, man. You know, so we'll say a prayer for the for, for the man right there. Ah. Oh. It op- there's a new position he opening up in the LNL, by the way. <laughs> we'll see. Uh, uh, job what or uh, uh, job what it or uh, the help wanted sign. Wanted. The, the help wanted sign is up. Oh, there we go. Thank you. Oh. Yeah, one. Oh goodness. Oh, yeah. Man. Oh, I, 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 well, and I, I just really thought the, the comic page take was was uh, something I hadn't really seen much of and i certainly haven't seen it in the the l and l so i think that's so oh yeah no it 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 definitely uh it was fun piecing together and then uh like i said it's definitely uh moving forward with it i think we're gonna have a lot of fun with it uh i said i i feel bad for morbius fans because this is I, i have no idea who this character really is yeah you know but you know, uh, forgive me if I if I take him out of character. <laughs> if I take him, he, he's definitely not going to be like the comic. <laughs> if, you, if you pull a if you pull a Ben Kingsley and Iron Man three, like, please please forgive you. <laughs> oh, poor Iron Man three. You know, you, you didn't like uh, uh, what was it? Uh, I mean, I was fine. I I it was unexpected. And for that, I I give him some props. Oh, it was unexpected. What, what was the what was the guy's name? Uh, oh, ah, oh, dang it! I went blank. Uh, the, the, the 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 man the Mandarin. Mandarin? The Mandarin, yeah, yeah, the Mandarin. good job. Oh. Yeah. The Mandarin, yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, yeah, I'm there was... with I'm there with you with the Mandarin, brother. I, I, I yeah, it was definitely a, a t- twist, but I no, I didn't want that twist. <laughs> I didn't want that twist. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I could have done without that. Oh. And then they never gave Pepper Potts her powers back, and that kind of pissed me off. And I'm like, dude, come well, on now. How the, like, come on. Right. Power. We spend the whole movie fight, fighting these guys. And then after, in like the 30-second synopsis, uh, you know, Tony's like, yeah, I figured out how to fix everything. So, you know, we don't have to worry about that anymore. Yeah, that what? was crap. Yeah, that was crap. <laughs> that was crap. Like, what the... Oh. That's what the whole movie was, was oh, this, this serum and trying to get it all worked out. And it's like, yeah, we worked it out. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, kind of man. lazy exposition, but sure. <laughs> now, um, in terms of, uh, in terms of the UNL, I mean, as we're, as we're moving forward with, uh, with the trash talk, of course, uh, we, we are going to inquire from the IWA just to, you know, get some clarification as to what's allowed and uh, I guess the other thing, uh, what while we're on air is uh, is the gore aspect. I mean, because I mean, right. I've seen I've seen some other leagues and some of the stuff that's getting posted on other leagues in terms of gore. Yeah. So I'm wondering how you know what to what level to what expect. You know, right. obviously, uh, you know, we, we you know, you, like you mentioned before, we've had uh, you know testicles uh, torn you know torn torn right. off before. Right. But... Not only torn off, but we had a picture of it. He was literally holding his his. Oh, I am, oh, oh yeah. I mean, he uh, was holding them. Shout 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 out to uh, Catfish Rob. If you haven't caught the Catfish Rob uh, interview, go back and and take a listen. I go. I, I have uh I have his pictures uh, scrolling throughout the interview. So I said, "You're the bad Catfish. We love you, brother." Oh man, yeah, that was he's genius. This stuff, man. Like I said, I yeah. I just I I, I love uh, I, I love it when I was uh, when I was on with him, just you know, reminiscing and stuff. Just uh, and, and just those pictures, man. I'm like, oh yeah, that's that's. I I can imagine when you saw him for the first time, your reactions, man. Because he was he, he he was even asking me. He's all like, 
I wish there was a way to just like go back in time and take a picture of his face when he first saw that. I'm like, oh. uh, I, I think, you know, I think it was, you know, the initial reaction obviously is, is shock, but then it was, I thought it was awesome. I like, I screenshot it. I shared it with, you know, some, some of the other guys in the IWA and I'm like, he cut my balls off. <laughs> Oh, my God. oh, that's cool. But, you know, I'd be like, they're like, are you upset? I'm like, no, it's awesome. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I mean, yeah, it's just part of the part of the action in the LNL, man. I think I, I think when I, him too far. I think when I was when I was on with uh, with Dennis Mooney, you know, and uh, and just talking about that same angle, he's all like, dude, the stuff that happens here is just so unpredictable. And I'm like. He's all like, would you believe that some, you know, someone got there, you know, and I'm just, I'm bawling. I'm like, oh my goodness, this is awesome. You know, shout out, shout out to Dennis Mooney and Catfish Rob. Like I said, uh, you guys are, you guys are two of the main reasons I've made my way here. And uh, I wish 2019, you know, brings us a lot of fun, a lot of action uh, here in the Living Nightmare League. Now, not to take anything away from uh, Jason Voorhees and, uh, and the patients, because like I said, I, I, I wish we can tangle Senator, uh, Sinister Bagul. I'm looking to tangle and, you know, so, but, you know, obviously uh, the attraction for me was, uh, you know, tangling up with, uh, with those dragons and, uh, and with Catfish and his gang right now. So. Yeah. Uh, and uh, I did notice uh, that uh, the Drake Maverick and Akam and Rizar were uh, inactive this cycle. I hope that's, uh, you know, kind of just a one cycle anomaly. Uh, they really had come in and they- they had trash talked and they had won, you know, uh, Akam won the league title. So uh, I hope I hope to see uh, them back. Uh, Dr. Frankenstein did attack Akam and, you know, it was a four on one attack and even four on one, they could barely take him down. So uh, hopefully there's a response uh, to that. But uh, man, just what kind of just what kind of testicles did he put back on? <laughs> right. I mean, these these are these are not. Yeah, these are not your standard run of the mill. This guy is really, you know, he's back with a vengeance. So, oh man, you know, um, I did want to, you know, kind of looking through. I did want to uh, touch on a couple things real quick, if it's okay. Oh yeah, no, we got, yeah, um, we got plenty of time. The the uh, the pale man. Uh, I announced this cycle. He's he's going to uh, be ending his run uh, as reviewing the trash talk. Um, so kind of moving, uh, in a, in a, you know, away from that, um, it's been fun writing for, for the pale man, kind of, you know, his, his sinister take on, on what, on the happenings. Um, but, uh, the 10 points that, uh, the pale man was awarding for the best trash talk that will continue, uh, those 10 points, uh, for the rankings that will continue. In addition to that, uh, starting in January, 2019, when we see the, uh, the end of the pale man's uh review the best trash talk of the cycle will earn fifty thousand dollars in iCash. uh so nice. uh we're gonna yeah we're gonna start trying to use some of that banked iCash. shout out to uh catfish rob third show third time uh this show i think uh for his uh assistance and kind of coming up with some ideas on how to spend uh some of this bank so uh best trash talk of the cycle is gonna get fifty thousand the ret the monster who wins Title. Equivalent to the Atlantic, our top regional, the monster who wins that is going to get twenty-five thousand. The monster who wins the crypt, which is our final regional title, uh, will earn twenty-five thousand. Nice, uh, very twenty-five thousand. Well, so you know the one at the top, the one at the bottom, the, you know, both earn twenty-five thousand. Uh, monsters who win championship matches at pay-per-views, uh, so the underworld, the anarchy, and the uh, the terror tag those will each win fifty thousand dollars in iCash also so gonna kind of start spending some of that bank it's built up so yeah t- time to spend some of it no no and time to spend uh, some. Right. I-, I think you mentioned it the last time uh, the reason it got up uh you know so high is because we were kind of uh we were trying to reward uh, anybody that brought home that hardcore title right yeah that's what it was uh like this this year um i kept saving it and then if somebody won the hardcore title they were going to get all um and not that that's an important award to win but uh i don't want to just be rolling out 
I want to I want to reward uh, our managers who are doing good trash talk and who are winning some of those those uh, regional titles. So. Oh yeah, no, and 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 like you said, I mean, it's uh, it's a pretty tight group. Yeah. So you know, so it, it, hopefully it's, pass it around some. Yeah, and it's good to reward those guys. I mean, especially the uh, you know those that have been there the entire year and have put in that work. So that's that's, a, right. that's an awesome thing, brother. Yeah. Oh, and I'll I I'll send it over. Uh, I'll send over a, a copy of it. It's on the Interfed page. If you're not on the Interfed page, uh, I highly recommend you get on there. Um, but the 2019 calendar is going to have an LNL Haunted Grounds contest. Uh, the idea being that uh, the 10 regional titles are the 10 haunted grounds of the LNL, and if someone, if a if a monster can be can win all 10 uh, in 2019, which I admit would be quite a feat, uh, um, that. Uh, monster would win an LNL match deal, so essentially twelve dollars in LNL credit. And if no monster can win all ten, uh, then the best performance uh, for the year will still win ten free matches. Nice. So it should, you know, just kind of something fun for us to track throughout the year, uh, see who's winning what and where. Um, so I will be kind of tracking that. Uh, I it's a pretty close to blatant ripoff. Of, of the uh, regional contest that the RWL was running uh, for 2018, but you know, adjusted it for the LNL. And if somebody's doing something good, might as well do it yourself. So, um, <laughs> so look for that in the in the next report. Uh, love it. I love haunted it. grounds I, contest. Yeah, because it, it does it does make the chase a little bit more interesting. It it, it turns up, uh, you know, it forces uh, managers to challenge for certain regionals, maybe that a friend has, or maybe that you know, uh, a stable mate has. So, you know, it, it does make it a little more uh, challenging. So it, it, it's fun. Yeah. <laughs> and, and like you said, man, I mean, especially if we're going to go at it, you know, throughout the year, like I said, I, I, I think it's going to be a blast. Awesome. Thank you. Oh, man. Now, uh, any, any last words for this after hours? Uh, did, did we forget? Uh, I, I hope oh, not. Yeah. Wait, but... wait a minute. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We missed one. We forgot to mention, uh, uh, the coming up, uh, the, the pay-per-view coming up. Oh, the next pay-per-view coming up. Yeah. yeah. Uh, now that uh, Head in the Box is in the books, uh, look for the results in the holiday cycle again. Uh, but the next pay-per-view uh, will be Dead by Dawn. Uh, and there will be a contest associated with it. Um, the idea being that um, there will be a main event type contest where uh, whoever enters... Uh, will be will meet up at a graveyard and the idea is that you have to bury your opponents it's like a huge it's like a battle royal but a buried alive battle royal <laughs> I, so, oh yeah I, I, I when you said it the first time and you said that you, you had in mind all the empty graves oh yeah. man that just oh, that thing had me pumped i'm like oh yeah just the fact that you actually so, have to bury them <laughs> just, <laughs> yeah you got you got to bury them and then it's like uh who will be dead by dawn so that's oh, yeah. that's the the name the reason behind the name so dead by dawn uh, you got to bury your opponents and win the win the contest so nice now uh for any managers listening i mean uh are, are you doing the write-ups are managers sending you write-ups for any of the sure. matches or are you open to receiving write-ups for the matches what has happened is that uh i do the write-ups if uh, a manager wants to either write it up themselves or contribute just kind of shoot me ideas uh Dennis has been really good. Some suggestions uh, for how he would like his matches to go. It, even if you just want to make suggestions like, hey, I'd really like to see this spot. Or given that, you know, this wrestler won, I'd really like to see this be the end. Awesome. Uh, I encourage that, you know, shoot me an email. Uh, sh- hit me up on on one of the, the Facebook groups. And I'm, I'm more than happy to do that, you know. Uh, it's I I want managers to enjoy the league. I want managers to enjoy their pay per view matches. So if you have a suggestion or a desire for how you want your match to go, definitely get in contact with me and we'll we'll make it work. We'll make it happen. I love it. If you and again, also uh, if you have any suggestions for this show, 
like I said, feel free to reach out to, you know, Commissioner Scott Anderson and let him know as well. Maybe, you know, you know, something came to mind that you want to see, you know, running across the screen or whatnot. Just let us know. <laughs> let us know. Oh, yeah. Sure. Definitely. Definitely. Oh, man. OK, you guys have been listening to uh, Commissioner Scott Anderson of the Living Nightmare League here on uh, Living Nightmare League After Hours. I'm IWA Flip. You guys have a good night. Take care, Scott. <laughs>